The awakening sequence begins with a series of poses, all collected together. They're called Sun Salutation A. We already know about extended mountain pose where you reach up to the ceiling. We learned about ragdoll, but now it's sister pose, forward fold. So all the way down to the mat, most of us will need to bend our knees to some degree in a forward fold. If the floor seems pretty far, you could always use a block or rest your hands on your shin. But a forward fold glues the belly to the thighs. No space now. The stretching is here in the backs of the thighs, the muscles called the hamstring. You could fold your arms, you could put hands on the ground, you could hug your legs, but it's feet parallel to one another. Body stacked up, hips over your ankles. So if you're hanging back here, you can come and relieve yourself from the stretch. Hips over the ankles brings a new intensity. And then the whole back body long. So this pose isn't stretching and pulling on the lower back. It's bringing stretch into the hamstrings. That's a forward fold. Next, we move to the halfway lift. The default in the halfway lift is to make it very ragdoll-like and just hover and hang here. Once we get a little more experience, maybe a little more flexible, the default is to leave the belly on the thigh and just lift the chest. It's a lot of swaying in the lower back. Halfway lift starts by the pit of the belly lifting and the body coming out to the halfway lift. My gaze is just ahead of my mat, a long flat back from sitting bones to the crown of my head. Now from my sitting bones to the crown of my head, I'm ready for the next pose, chaturanga. Hands on the ground, feet back, and it looks like a low push-up. Now from my heels to the crown of my head, body long. Ready for upward facing dog, hands pressed down, tops of the feet pressed down, chest lifts, eyes up. To downward facing dog, which we've already tried. Those are the poses of sun salutation A.